Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hey everyone, it's Christina. I'm Daniel. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Welcome back, fam. So today we're here in Japan. Japan. We're here for a week and we're gonna do as much as we can in that short amount of time because obviously we're traveling with Jordan, so we're gonna be a bit slower than usual, right, Jordan? And we're gonna be exploring the main attractions. <laughs> so, right now we're here in Kyoto, but we want to show you guys more. So, without any further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. On our first day, we spent most of the day traveling. We had an overnight layover in Manila, and it was a four hour flight from Manila to Tokyo. Welcome to when we arrived, we were picked up by a taxi and dropped off to our accommodation in Shinjuku and that took about an hour. We had dinner and picked up the rental car for the next day. Day 2 we went to see Mount Fuji and Gatemba Premium Outlets and as we were driving we were surprised by this amazing view of Mount Fuji. So we're now here at Mount Fuji, as you can see there. Careful with Jordan! We made it! We finally made it! This is Pagoda and Mount Fuji. Hey Jordan, how was your long nap? Look, this is Mount Fuji. When we got back down, we saw this food truck where they sold some delicious Japanese street food. After an hour of driving, we finally made it to the premium outlets. Whenever we're hungry, Jordan is also hungry. We're just walking the streets of Shinjuku. We just dropped off the car and we just need to catch the train. Day three is for exploring around Tokyo. We're just walking to the train station and we're going to Le Cafe. Before we get to Ginza, we're just going to buy some tickets. So we're just going to purchase a Pasmo card. And we're just going to purchase two adult ones. And there's the plasma card. <laughs> We're now on a mission to find the cafe. And it looks like we're only five minutes away. We have arrived at our destination. And if you like Louis Vuitton, you should definitely try this out. It's a chic cafe located on the 7th floor of Louis Vuitton Ginza. Jordan, every time we're eating, you're always hungry too. We haven't even started eating. As we're exploring Ginza, we found a street with more luxury retail shops. So in Don Quixote, you can get general goods such as whey protein right there, <laughs> makeup. and makeup, you get makeup Household there. Items. Household items, you can get clothing, drinks, you can get anything you want. And it's pretty much like a Daiso in Australia, but bigger. When I said everything before, they actually have everything. So 
we're just walking on the road of Ginza. I don't know what this is. It's just a blocked off road. Ginza 7. And it's just pretty much free for all on the road. <laughs> train tonight. Look at you, looking like a little egg in there. <laughs> Look, it's too hard to cross in the middle. So we're just crossing the Shibuya crossing again. <laughs> and there he is. And obviously there's a line, it's people waiting for the statue. Day four is a day at Disney. We're just getting some food before we go to Disney Sea, and I've got this triangle sushi. I don't know what it's called. Beef with miso and mayonnaise. It's so good. We're now here at the Tokyo Disney Resort Station. Oh, you're not looking like Mickey Mouse. Hello, Mickey Mouse. We're in Disney Sea. It's creamy inside. Hi, Jordan. Hello. Day 5 is our last day in Tokyo, next stop, Osaka. We're going to Shibuya Sky but then the observation deck at the top is closed because it's raining. And this is the view that we get. Essentially the same view as you get upstairs, but it's all enclosed. We're on the east side of Shibuya Sky. It's a bit gloomy today. <laughs> Just a bit. Here, what we can see here is right behind that building is the Tokyo Tower. The National Stadium. And the Sky Tree is somewhere over there. No, we can't see. It's too gloomy. Now it's time to catch the bullet train! Bass Lawson, that's our hotel, Vermillion. Let's go grab some dinner. Today we're going to Kyoto and we're going to be Your trying a Kimono. A train and the train is there. <laughs> when we arrived at Kyoto Station, we smelled the delicious waffles and we just couldn't resist. We're just outside Kyoto Station and ahead of us is the Kyoto Tower. And there she is. She's completed. Who 
we're just going up the stairs. It's a 10 minute walk. 10 minute I mean, walk. probably like seven minutes. I feel very traditional wearing this kimono. So at the moment, we're here and we are going to go up there. This is the men's kimono and also the baby kimono. Oh, Jordan, show us your kimono. Just returned our kimonos and we're super hungry. We've passed by this place earlier. It's a lot of street food options. So this is our first street food and it's the Wagyu steak. <laughs> the next one we got is a meat wrap rifle. Okay, so I got mochi balls with red bean paste on there and also got takoyaki balls. It's got that hibachi taste. Day 7 was our last full day in Japan. Today we're going to the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. So we asked the random where the bamboo forest is. He said it was this way. So before the bamboo grove, there's a lot of street food stalls. Looks like we've made it here to the bamboo farm. Jordan, this is the bamboo farm. So this is actually a better photo opportunity. As you can see, it's very Instagrammable, minus the crowd. <laughs> and it took us another five to 10 minutes to walk here from the entrance. We've walked all the way from Number Station to see one person, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> the running man. The famous photo spot is actually that bridge there, but we don't have time to go there. We still took photos, so it's good enough. Day 8, we're back in Tokyo and we're about to catch a flight from Narita back to Manila. So that's the end of our Japan trip. It was full of activities as expected. It was tiring, a lot of walking, but we had fun. Right, Jordan? <laughs> Yes, yes. So what were your highlights? One of my main highlights were going to Mount Fuji, Disney Sea, the convenience stores, so 7-Eleven, <laughs> Family Mart and Lawson. And what about you? What were your highlights? Mine was Mount Fuji as well and the pagoda. It was so pretty. Another highlight for me was wearing a kimono. We tried it at Kashimi Inari Taisha. It was really cool because there were a lot of other tourists wearing kimonos as well. Even Jordan had a cute little kimono. Just a quick tip from us as first time travelers to Japan is to prepare prepare your trip and your itinerary very well. We didn't expect a lot of transport from one place to another. For us, we were flying to and from Narita 
but we went to Osaka and our flight was 9.30 a.m. However, the earlier Shinkansen schedule was around 6 a.m., which was going to be late. We had to train back the night before and that wasn't on our schedule. And keep in mind, that's a separate ticket from whatever card you're using, Suica or Pasmo. Also, the Skyliner, which is the train to Narita Airport. We thought we could just use our Pasmo card, but we actually had to purchase a separate ticket. And the other tip as well is the language. So if you're going to Japan, we recommend understanding some basic phrases in Japanese, but also understanding how to respond to basic phrases as well. We struggled to communicate with a few Japanese. It was using Google Translate for some of them because they actually couldn't understand anything and we couldn't understand <laughs> them as well. So another tip from us is to be ready to pay in cash. There's a lot of places that don't accept card. So overall, we had an amazing experience in Japan, although we didn't get to try as many things as we wanted to. We still had fun. So yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more from us, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Catch you guys next time. Bye. See ya.